And thank you. That brings us to our closing seconds. I think we've got a, a closing statement. I think we have time for about 90 seconds to a minute 45. So why don't you have your closing statement? We'll start with Fred and go all the way down as to why you're the best person for the job. The thing that I know that I can bring to Fort Wayne is the experience that I've had as a mayor. There are things that you do as a mayor that council and citizens do not know about. There are funds for social programs. There are funds that we receive to do work. And whenever I am mayor, I am going to try to apply for every possible grant that I can get. As a mayor in Ohio, I had over $3 million in federal and state grants that were brought into a community of less than a thousand. I will go out and look for money and find ways to save taxpayers dollars. I will work on projects that we can get grants to work with and not the funds from the city. Thank you. Again, I'm Paula Hughes. Uh, I have been campaigning on the fact that I'm a proven conservative leader. And for that mean, me, for that, for me, that means, I was getting that backwards, I was getting a rush. <laughs> for me, that means that it, you need to know that I accomplished everything I set out to on county council. I was, I was done being on county council and was gonna move on regardless. I see an opportunity to restore conservative values to the city of Fort Wayne. That's why I'm running for mayor. I accomplished everything I set out to. I'm gonna take the show on the road and change the city of Fort Wayne. Thank you. First of all, I, as mayor, I would think it'd be best for the mayor and the city council to the, communicate, because it doesn't seem like they are really talking. They're probably talking behind their backs. So that's not too good. So also, stop these incentives <coughs> that are just wild ideas, pies in the sky think it's this Wizard of Oz and everybody's going to go down Fort Wayne with all the wonderful things we have. You're only going to see the zoo once. You're only going to see the pretty marks once. And that's it. we got to have something that be something to bring people in because we need money and we need people and we need smarts. Well, Mason and I really value you know, living here and appreciate what this community has offered our family. And one of the re key reasons that I decided to run was because I could not see a plan looking at other candidates for growth. And I think one of the things, uh, if you agree with me, that our number one problem is to solve our declining wage and our job issue, uh, then you have to pick the right leader for the right time. And we all know that leadership matters and that when you choose the right leader for the right time, it's one of the keys to being successful. And I think that Fort Wayne needs a proactive and aggressive mayor who understands the language of business and who understands how to grow an economy. And, and I, I believe that that's what we're going to need to be successful. And I'm the only candidate in this race that has a de detailed plan to get that done. You can see that at ericdoden.com and go through it in detail. And my executive experience in business has allowed me to understand the role of an executive and how to get things done at the executive level. Uh, and that's a different skill set than is, is required in legislation. The legislative skill set is different than the executive skill set in my view. And part of what you have to do is be able to inspire people and inspire thousands of people to move in the same direction. So I'm running for mayor to create a culture of innovation. I'm also running for mayor to uh, reduce um, our red tape and our bureaucracy. Uh, and I think if we work together, I'm excited what we can do with Fort Wayne. And I really want to thank you for your interest in Fort Wayne and for coming here and appreciate the opportunity to talk to you about our ideas. When I ran for city council, it's because I knew I had some skills and talents that I could share with the city of Fort Wayne to make this a better place. However, I'm one of nine on city council, and it has become painfully apparent as I've gone through the budget process, as I've sat on these committees and tried to make changes in how we do business with businesses to cut through the red tape, that that is not possible being one of nine on the city council. <coughs> The way to make those changes is to be in the mayor's seat because that's where it all starts with policy decisions. I'm not done with city council. I know that what I need to do and what I can do to change the business culture here in the city of Fort Wayne, internally as well as being more welcomed to businesses, to cut through that red tape, to use our dollars wisely so that we actually do assist in the growth of the economy instead of just create 
creating more debt, that you only can do that if you're in the mayor's seat. That's why I'm moving. There are challenges going forward, and the only one who can make those changes is if the mayor of Fort Wayne is not Tom Henry going forward. And having worked with him, or tried to work with him for three and a half years, I understand very painfully and clearly what needs to be done and what is not being done now. And unlike any of my opponents up here, because of my experience on city council, I know not only know the problems and challenges, but the opportunities, and I can start day one to make that happen. I agree with all my opponents here, but also you cannot bring businesses into town when you're haggling about money. We have lost two businesses because of the, all the financial excuse by Frank bullshit going on with Harrison Square. I don't know if I can follow that or not. <laughs> but my, uh, my main thing for Fort Wayne is jobs. If we can get jobs, we're going to have tax dollars coming in so we can pay down our debt, so we can improve our downtown district, we can improve the quality of life. And I am not a Democrat nor a Republican. I like to think I am an American liberal. And if I was elected, there would be some Democrats sitting up here at this table, to, or Republicans, that I would ask to be a deputy mayor and a new created position of jobs are to help bring jobs here. Because to me, that's the most important thing we have right now is jobs and to keep our spending down. Fred, you're the reason we need a seven second delay in the TV business. <laughs> <laughs> the FCC requires that. Uh, by the way, we went through the entire closing statements and everybody went under their time. So candidates, thank you, they did a great job. The more of these they do, they get very uh, rehearsed in doing that very well. So let's hear it for the seven candidates. Final thought, May 3rd is the primary. Just keep in mind, Indiana is one of those states you have to pick one of the primaries, Republican or uh, Democrat, that you have to vote for, and then you have to wait until November, obviously, if you want to go both ways. And then that next Monday night, we actually were televised a debate as well on Indiana's News Center. I believe that is 7 p.m., so five of the candidates will be with us on that. So next Monday night, 7 p.m. Uh, thanks for coming today. I think it's great that you come out and ask questions. Have a great day.